What's up everybody, Madcap here, and welcome back to more StarCraft Remastered, where I am on the second part of the final Protoss mission, uh, mission number 10, and the final mission for the primary campaign of StarCraft. And it looks like we're about, well, I don't really know, about an hour, five minutes into it. I think that timer's a little weird because I have it on the fastest game setting possible. So I don't actually know how long it's been in there. I think it's a little bit more than that. But we are over an hour into this. I've got pretty much the Protoss are settled in a little bit here with their upgrades being pretty much completed. Uh, I've got my Archon army and my Carrier army ready to go for an attack. And I'm probably going to be working a little bit on the Terran this time. Kind of uh, getting them going a little bit here and kind of doing some of their upgrades. But other than that, I think we're pretty much ready to start an attack. I don't know what's up in the top right corner. That's still mostly unexplored. Maybe I'll send some probes or observers up there and just check it out, see what's going on up in this section. It might just be more spots to expand. Who knows? But we know the Overmind is here and the red enemies are here and here, kind of surrounding and protecting the Overmind. So let's hop to it, shall we? I've got plenty of minerals. Complete. Upgrade complete. Oh, well, we're starting with a couple upgrades. From here? What did I just do? Vehicle weapons. Ah, okay. Well, let's keep those going. That way I can get some of those good old... Uh... Do I want to do that? Yeah, I guess I'll get those good old siege tanks. Get some of those going right now. This is burning. That bothers me. What else do I need? I could do some battle cruisers. I'm not really sure if I really need that. But it might be kind of handy. This is all done. So that's pretty nice. I had just used pretty much all of my scans. So those aren't going to be doing anything for just a wee bit of time. Bunkers are full. You're repaired. You're pretty well damaged, but your shields are coming back almost fully. So I might move you back just a tad. I'll probably throw just some marine cannon fodder down here. That way I've got some replacements if they do some kind of large attack. This base I had gotten going, so that's pretty good. Get a few more guys going on crystals. Got some good Vespine there. This guy just finished. And once that's done, I could probably roll in some Goliaths. Maybe I'll do... I'm half tempted to do one more and do Goliaths and Siege Tanks, just a whole bunch of them. Hmm. That might be what I do here. SCV good to go. These guys are still happily mining. There's still enough of them to be pretty much useful. I don't complete. Need that. Okay, so those are going. Everything's done down here. The beacon is done. Your mining facility here. I don't really need the scarabs yet. Don't need zealot movement yet. Let's throw one of these guys up here. Over here. Over here. I'm just gonna kind of burn some of these observers out. This way it'll give me an idea of where they can kind of go. And what's going on over there. Ultralisks, 1-1. One, one. That's still not bad. Okay, um... I think I'll use you to repair that. Hopefully there's not an attack coming behind that as well. Yep, there is. Well, at least I got the repair up there. Before the Ultralisk got up. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that! Ah, there is another red base. Figured as much. More expansion spots, and some burrowed units. So there's one more kind of tiny-ish red base, basically. And I'll probably fly you over here into the middle of this, and then just drive you, or fly you down, and finish off that last little spot. Add on complete! Okay, so if I go over here, these are big clunky units, so... I'm going to need a little bit of space for them. And probably what I will do here is just kind of do this, and then do the opposite, 
The opposite. We are under attack. Yes, we are under attack, aren't we? By what? Mutas? That's fine. We can handle that. I think I have enough for all of these guys, so I'm just gonna do them all. No, no, no. Goliath. There we go! Alright! Now what? Guardian! Get out of here, Guardian. Purple? Mutas? That's still mostly fine. I guess I'll bring in carriers to take them out. Just because they're annoying me. They'll run into the photon camps eventually, but I can take out all my goddamn probes first. Additional supply depots required. That's right. Didn't build enough supply depots for that. Now what's going on? Okay, kill off that guardian. One lousy guardian. Sitting there. There you go, Guardian. You're dead. Okay, I know, I know. I'm building supply depots. Hold your horses. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Build, build. Yeah, I got a few units off. That's not bad. Uh, okay, you're up here now, right? Yes. And fly right down here. Let's see what's going on up here. Maybe more red? Potentially. How may I help? And actually, I'm just going to take a couple of these guys down here. Get out of his way. There we go. Alright. Bring you down this way that we've got some more siege power here. And I still have... Yeah, here you are. Okay. You can go reconstruct these two guys. That way it'll keep the mutas off my back. And there's nothing here. Okay. Good. So that pretty much means I more or less have a clear... Clear line of attack, I think. As far as I can tell. Okay. Goliaths are... Yes, sir. Getting there. Siege tanks are getting there. So one more to go from each. I might as well do one more here. Because they all have two left to build, so... This will keep it even, at least. Roughly-ish. I know, I know. Additional supply depots required. How many do we have? We need two... Five more... For this. And you're stuck. Out of the way, Siege Tank. Got five of you. So... Six, seven... Uh, I could just do... Finish them off really quick. So this gives us seven, right? Seven, yep. So five more. And two... One, two, and then I need five more of them as well. Let's see who finishes first. These two, or these five? And I might as well start doing ship plating and ship weapons while I'm here. Just in case I need to end up building some, uh, some Terran ships. Or if I need to send Raynor into battle, at least he'll be kind of upgraded a little bit. The plating. Plus nine, plus nine. Three, nine. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think these are going to kick the glass. Ah, yes. So let's do one, one, and delete two of these. That should work. Alright, well then. This will just be some kind of a, a hammer, essentially. I'm going to flood from the top via Terran and flood from the bottom via Protoss. And I think the Terran... That's tough. I think the Terran I'm going to leave... Shit. Are you guys going over there? Okay, you're... Yeah, get up here. Well, there goes one of my Goliaths already. You assholes. There goes two of my Goliaths already. Basically, three of my Goliaths. 
Fine. Confirm. Build another Goliath. Another three of them. Goliath. That's apparently what you want me to do here. Wait, two? I thought I oh right, because I'm sending the third guy out right now. Channel open. There we go. Okay. And you guys are done? Identify target. No. My counting must have been off somehow. Don't know how. It's actually trying to kill off an overlord. Well done, Goliath. Gonna kill off that guy too. There you go. Run harass. Oh crap. I screwed that up. That explains why things looked a little weird. Well, that's what you get for not paying attention. The vehicle plating and vehicle or er, ship plating. I did the wrong sets. I was doing uh, weapons, weapons for vehicles and ships. Oh. I see Hydra's moving in over here. Yes, sir. Are they actually going to come over this way, or are they just going? Yep, they're just going up that side. Okay. Got him. You know what? Fine. I'm going to send these guys over here. They like to keep creeping by over this way. Go back and forth. You need to build your last thing. I need to get you out of here. There you go. And let's do... Over on this side, I'm just going to throw down some pylon, a pylon and some photons. Just because. Okay, that's all of our Goliaths. All of those guys. Rainer here. You guys done building interceptors? No, I still have a few more to go. Okay. One. Two. And I guess we'll just make... Three. Four. Why are you guys all over the place? I told you to patrol in a straight line. Classic Marines, they're all drunk. There. Right there. Right there, and probably right there. Just gives a little bit of an arc, so it'll stop them at least. Well, that's fine. I'm more or less done with that area. But I think I might just go for an attack right now. I might just send Goliaths and uh, Goliaths and Siege Tanks in after. Actually, before I even do this. I haven't done too much, but save's always handy. Okay. Carriers are right behind you, Archon, so that's good. I need to control these guys a little bit here. Where are they going? They're going to go down this ramp. Okay. And once they're down this ramp, we're going to enter that way. Okay, let's group them all back together. Carriers are on the way. Yes, follow my probes. Go do whatever you want. You're about to become severely damaged here. Okay, carriers are following in behind. Hopefully the Archons will be able to stop any kind of scourge threats. Okay. Carriers can move in and target this to help out a little bit. A little far behind though, so that was kind of a mistake. Carriers help out. There's the fucking scourge. I fucking knew it. Oh, good God! Archons, thank you. You saved my fucking life. Holy sweet God. <laughs> that was a lot of fucking scourge. I knew they were going to do that. Holy crap. Okay, well, how are we doing here? We've lost one Archon and one Carrier. That is not bad at all. I cannot believe 
I was able to push back that uh, that scourge attack. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these sons of bitches. Okay. Move over this way. Nobody here, right? Where do we go up for this? So we need to be moving here. Then get up this way. God damn it, stop slowing me down! Go away, Hydralisk. You're no match for an Archon. Just go home. Oh, fucker, dude. Yeah, they caught me with my shields down from the back. Archons are too far forward. Okay. Carriers are too slow. I need to move the Archons with them. Alright. Upgrade complete. Okay, you guys just auto attack for now while I go select these next sets of upgrades. Alright, what do we got going? Scourge are coming from that side. Yep, they're out of place for that one. Damn it! At least we're getting rid of the freaking red, though. Purple, purple can do all they want. Oh, Jesus Christ. These fucking Scourge are a Scourge. <laughs> My carriers are taking heavy casualties here. These purple guys are creating units quite rapidly, I have to admit. Feels like I'm killing off, like, 12 Hydras, and then they've got 12 more right behind them, which is definitely the way the Zerg operate, but still. Seems like it's too much, although they're probably using a cheating AI, I would imagine. That does exist in StarCraft. Alright, let's just finish off these red guys. I have an, an alternate plan for this, don't forget. This is all buying me time at this point, and there's more freaking Scourge coming in. Okay, how about the Archons? Get these sunken colonies down. Oh, well, they're going for that one anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, keep the carriers in the back. Just in case they do another freaking Scourge wave. So I'm now down to five carriers. Half of my carrier forces have been annihilated. Wow, this Archon... How is this Archon... Oh, he probably got defiled. I was gonna say, Archons only have 10 health. There's no way something gets through their shields and they don't die. Okay. There you go. Red, you're done. Sayonara, Red. How close are you guys to being done? Pretty close. Pretty close. Go ahead. These guys go ahead. are done. Alright. Well, you guys did your job. You can stay right here. And then carriers can move slightly behind them. Ever so slightly. You can stay back here. I don't like the way you're all the way up front. It's like a bowling pin. Alright, well... Apparently they're trying to attack that. What are you doing? You just decided to stop working? Goodbye, Overlord. Good freaking bye and good freaking riddance. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more tricky. But we got these guys to back them up, these guys to back them up. And then we got plenty of them. I'm going to have to control the siege tanks, though, when that happens. Okay, might as well just get that going. I don't really need to scan, I guess. There you are, you son of a bitch. I'm coming for you. You've lost your defenses. Why did they leave my shuttle alive? That's weird. Doesn't make much sense at all. Uh, are there any more generals? I guess there's some up here. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. That means we are ready to go. All I'm gonna do is run you guys in here straight to the overmind. And it should be good from there. 
siege tanks are going to get stuck all over the place, probably. I don't know where these guys are going to come down. Maybe here? Yeah, it looks like they're going down that way. Okay. Well, this should be interesting. You're going to have to gather the glass right here, though. Because they always get stuck in this line. I don't want them going in one by one. Oh, well, now they know where I am. Yeah, keep killing off the overlords. Ah, you fucking queens. Alright, we are here. Okay, pull in the siege tanks. Here we go. Siege up. Yeah, yes. Gonna kill a lot of my units off probably in the beginning here. Oh, what's the matter? Ain't got no scourge for this, do you? What's the matter? Am I confusing you, AI? Oh, those poor guys. Purple went all in on anti-carrier, which is a pretty good strategy when you're playing me. But I ain't stupid. I started to recognize that early on, that they were just super scourge. I need to siege these guys, technically, but might as well. Alright. Now, let's just stay down here. You guys don't need to take them on. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Why the hell not? Let's just go crazy here. Get out of here, Guardian. They're not even going to really do anything, because this guy's probably going to die before I get everything killed. I kind of just want to finish off everything, just for fun. Okay, don't, don't attack that just yet. Where are you guys going? Sure. Observer, you go with them. Tank mode. Carries are up there. You guys can go that way. I lost my server. Okay, fine. Kill the open line. Do whatever you want. Executor, the overline has been weakened, but I fear we have sustained severe damage ourselves. I will steer the Gantrithor into a collision course with the Overmind. Wait, what? No. If I can Can't we just use the thousands of Dark Templars? Through the hull of the Gantrithor, I should be able to bring swift death to the accursed abomination. Remember us, Executor. Remember what was done here today. May Adun watch over you. No, victory! Poor Tassadar. All right. Well, that went pretty well. I produced 479 units, and I killed off 600. Wow, lost 152. I mean, that was a that was a pretty pretty intense fight from the beginning. They kept attacking my Terran units up top, so that was that was kind of annoying. Wish they would have gone for the Protoss because that's who I was upgrading in the end. I don't imagine there's an ending cutscene right here. Yeah. No, oh, the Ganthrothor! The beautiful carrier! Don't do it, Tassadar! Look at how small Mutalisks are! They're so itty bitty! Holy crap, they did a lot of damage! It's a weird looking uh, bridge. Poor Tassadar. Oh, he's focusing all the energy. Damn! <laughs> Just one mutilist in the front.
Wow. Oh. Holy jeebus. Well, that certainly did a number on the Overmind. Epilogue. As the chaotic, swirling energy subsided, a heavy silence settled over the battlefields of Ire. Due to Tassadar's noble sacrifice, the Overmind was now dead, and the Zerg swarms were scattered and broken. But as the heroes surveyed their once glorious homeland... Do I need to click this? It was going on its own there for a second. Okay. They realized that their victory had cost them all but their lives. Ire was left nothing more than a smoldering ruin. Those few Protoss who survived the final battle could only wonder what the future would hold for their race. And far away on the distant planet Char, Kerrigan, the self-styled Queen of Blades, knew that the time of her ascension was at hand. 1998. Wow. That's crazy. It's hard to believe that, uh... I was actually playing this back in 98, too. Pretty nuts. I don't know why it keeps freezing like that, but what are you gonna do? Um... Okay. The credits actually did eventually unfreeze. That was strange. Apparently those weren't remastered, I guess. Or something. But yeah, they eventually did unfreeze and kick me back here. But anyways, the, we will be moving into StarCraft Brood War expansion next, which follows the same formula as what we just did. Should be 10 episodes for each race, although this time it's kind of going backwards a little bit. Starting with the Protoss, because we just left off with them, so it's continuing the story. And then moving into uh, Terran and Zerg. I don't know in what order, because it says Protoss campaign incomplete for both of them, so I would imagine you could pick whichever one you want at that point. But according to this, episode 5 and episode 6. So it would be Protoss, Terran, Zerg. Just judging by that. This might switch to Terran campaign incomplete when I finish the Protoss, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, StarCraft Remastered, I am putting on a brief hiatus it shouldn't be too long um with uh turmoil uh the heat is on that expansion coming out unexpectedly i want to play that on the channel so since we've got 31 episodes 32 episodes something like that into starcraft this seems like a good break to take uh turmoil usually isn't very long i can only imagine it would be i don't know probably 11 or 12 episodes so not that bad but starcraft remastered will be back right after that and it'll be like a fresh fresh campaign experience instead of doing all 60 some odd of these episodes right back to back so look forward to this uh coming up after turmoil the heat is on and we will have more fun because there are more units more crazy things to do and i look forward to especially some of the zerg units can't wait to use some of those so lots of good stuff to be had but that is gonna do it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one until then stay metal